Hi everyone, Tam's here. My goodness, Halloween is just a week away and I have a very fun project for you. Tonight we are going to make an invisible ink fountain pen. Um, and this does not cost as much as you may think. Uh, this is a great project for kids who may love Harry Potter, that want to send secret messages to one another, and I'm going to share with you how easy it is to make this. Now I have to give a shout out to one of my pen pals, Liz, who originally uh, turned me on to this. She sent me this black light, as well as my first ever sample of Ghost Ink. And so I want to say thank you for that, and she gave me this idea. So here are the materials you're going to need. This is a Platinum Preppy fountain pen. These are very inexpensive. They're just a few bucks on Amazon and I buy them in bulk because we have fun with these at a lot of my uh, mail art uh, classes. You will also need some Ghost Ink by Noodlers. Look at there, boo. Uh, this is a little more pricey and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the bottle. You could probably go to like Goulet pens or something like that and maybe try to find a sample. But I need a big bottle and I get it for a good price on Amazon. Uh, you'll need a pipette. I have the I have a ton of these. I have them in bulk because you know I do workshops. From Goulet pens I buy these things. You'll need some silicone grease and an o-ring and they have this on their website. It's very very affordable. The O-rings come out to be just less than a dollar a piece when you buy them, but if you're if you're even more frugal than I am, <laughs> um, I also go to my local Ace Hardware. I have a wonderful one here in my neighborhood. I can walk to it, and they have a similar O-ring at my Ace Hardware. It's only forty nine cents. So I'm gonna show this to you. You can pause the video and see if you have Ace Hardware in your neighborhood. Maybe you can find that. But the best bet is you can always find these on Goulet pens and they are very affordable. And you get like a pack of five or six. It's, it's you know, just a few dollars. And the last thing you will need is a black light. And you can find these all day every day on Amazon. Very inexpensive. They take AAA batteries. And now let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, let's talk about the pen itself. Okay, these Platinum Preppies are great. They're very inexpensive. They're a great way for you to get, to get introduced to fountain pens. They normally come with a cartridge. Okay, we're going to bypass the cartridge. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill the cavity with ink. And we're, this is called eyedroppering and a fountain pen. And then just to secure it so that it will not leak when we screw it back together, we're going to put a little silicon gel and a little O-ring to give it that extra safety. And then we'll have a very full fountain pen full of ink. So let me show you how that's done. You want to take your pipette and you're going to use that to fill up the cavity of the fountain pen. You don't want to put too much in here, but this is far more than what you would normally have in a cartridge, so this will last a while. This is great. Eye drop ring fountain pens is very common in the fountain pen world, but normally you need a very kind of high-end expensive one which great what's great about these platinum preppies they're like four or five bucks and you can play around with it and get comfortable with it okay the next thing we're going to do we're going to take a just a tab of this grease and you have threads here on the tip of the fountain pen and you're just going to put just a little bit just faint you don't need much this little container of silicon grease has lasted me for several mail art classes where i've shown this and it's a lot of fun. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our O-rings. Okay. And we're going to put that onto 
the end here. And it'll just roll right up. And what you have done is you have created just a nice little seal for the fountain pen just to ensure that the ink that's in the cavity has less chance of getting out. And if you want to do a little more, you don't want to do too much because you don't want the silicone grease to get into your ink. So there's that. Now what you're going to do is just screw on the cavity to the actual fountain pen. And here's the tip. And we're going to let this fill up a little bit. Okay, it takes just a minute. You want to kind of scribble with it a bit. Ah, but there you go. Secret message. Think about how much fun you can have. You cannot see this. But I am going to write a message here and then oh, look at that. How fun is that? I love this trick. I have enjoyed it so much. I'll link everything below. You know, um, you can use your own source, but I'll use all. I, I will link everything below so that you can make your own. I am making these for an upcoming uh, letter writing club meetup, and um, yeah, there's your trick. That's how you do it. Have fun, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.